Here are the head coach of the Cavaliers, Dane Dameron. Coach, uh, heading up the road this week to Shepherdstown, West Virginia, to take on the number four Rams. Just your overall impression of Shepherd and uh, challenge your team faces Saturday. Well, I think the number four ranking is, is well deserved. Uh, coach Cater does an amazing job with these guys. He's been there for a, he's been there for a long time. And it's funny when we went up to the Mountain East meetings, I went up and talked to him a little bit, and he was the head coach there in 1991 when I was a sophomore at Georgetown. We played him. And we talked about that game a little bit. You watch, you watch him play now. And my vague recollections of 1991, they're still doing a lot of the same stuff on defense with some really good players. And so it's, it's going to be a tall task. There's no question about that. Coach, your team's coming off a 35-29 loss, but uh, big comeback here in the second half. Actually, had the ball, the chance to win late in the fourth quarter. Uh, and your team's performed extremely well here in the second half, especially defensively. Only allowed six points uh, in the second half, first two games. Yeah, they, they played well the second half. Our whole team did offensively. We started out like gangbusters and went down there and had a 12-play drive and, and got up 7 to nothing and didn't really do much offensively after that the first half. But got to give credit to our kids. They, they responded to what we talked about at halftime. It wasn't about making adjustments or, or anything like that. It was just coming out and executing what we had, had planned for the game. And I thought, I thought they did that very well. Defensively, the first half, we had some – some stunts called, some blitzes called that the kids didn't run. And, you know, the second half they, they ran them and we were able to get a little bit more pressure on the Grove kid who's a phenomenal football player, by the way. And, you know, you gotta, you gotta give a lot of credit to our kids because there wasn't a person in that stadium that thought that our kids would come out and do what they did in the second half. And, you know, we're in this thing to win. Uh, that's what we wanna do. But you, you, you've gotta tip your hat to the way that the way responded in the second half. And, all you can ask for in any college football game is to, is to have the ball with a chance to win at the end of the game, and we did that. I think one of the important things with any football team, especially one like UVA Wise, is building depth. Uh, and you got to see a little bit of that Saturday with Donovan Montague coming in, making his first collegiate start at, at linebacker, and he played extremely well. Monty did really well, and uh, it's a credit to him. He uh, He's accepted his role and understood that he's going to have a chance to step up and make plays. You know, we'd love to have Chris out there. But, but Chris wasn't able to play, and, and Monty did a good job. I don't even know if he came off the field defensively. He, he, he did a lot of good things for us, and that's, and that's a struggle for us right now is depth. Uh, we're, we're not deep in some positions. We're being forced to play in a whole lot more freshmen that, than you would really like to play. But, you know, the best thing about freshmen is they become sophomores. The worst thing about that is got to wait 365 days for that to happen. And so those kids, have, you know, they've got to they've become men. We, we're counting on a whole lot of them to make plays for us. Offensive line coach performed much better in game two than game one uh, in the 30s in terms of rushing yards and the win at Tusculum and then over 130 last week in the ball game against Notre Dame. If you could hit on that a little bit and uh, the improvements you've seen there. I thought we played physical. Uh, I thought Notre Dame was very good up front. I thought our kids did a good job of playing with tempo and, uh, and getting the ball snapped as fast as we could because I, I think there's no doubt that we were, we were in pretty good shape and we were able to force the tempo and do some things. But offensive line is just about hitting your landmarks and sustaining blocks. I, I didn't think we did that against Tusculum. And I thought Coach Compton did a great job with our young men in a week. You know, they say the best, the most improvement a team makes is from week one to week two. But if we're doing what we hope to do it here at Wise, you're going to see improvement like that every week because we've got a lot of work to get better. And, but they did a good job. They hit their landmarks. I thought we pass protected better than I thought we would. And so it's it's just Daryl, it's just a it's just a work in progress, and you know hopefully we'll be better this week because if we're not better this week than we were last week, it could be a long could be a long trip. I think one of the signs uh, I mean, you like to see out of a young quarterback is not turn the ball over. And uh, Bryson Lee and I, I don't want to jinx him here, but 68 passes to start his collegiate career without an interception. Well, I think that is a that's a product of just taking what the defense gives you. Uh, quarterback's really not that hard of a position to play if you just if you if you are true to your reads and get the ball where it needs to go, if there's nothing there, throw it away. You know, uh, second and 10 is a whole lot better than first and 10 going the other way. And so just take what the defense gives you. Don't try to do anything more than, than you can do on any given play. And I think Bryson has managed, he managed this game really well. I thought there were some throws out there that he should have hit. Uh, I think the game is a, a, a totally different football game if we get James Cousins down the sideline there in the second, in the first quarter. You know, because it, it was a it was a for sure touchdown. So instead of being 13-7, we got a chance to be up 14 to 13, and who knows what happens after that. But uh, we knew that Bryson was just going to continue to get better every week, and, I, and there's no doubt that he made a huge step from week one to week two. 
Shepard possesses uh, arguably the best wide receiver in this league in Billy Brown. Uh, six foot four, uh, he was All-American last year. He's already got three touchdown receptions this year. And then their quarterback was uh, honorable mention All-American last year, Jeff Ziemba. So a pair of All-Americans, your defense will have to face this week. Yeah, they're, they're, we're going to have our work cut out for us. Uh, Shepard is very sound in what they do. They want to run the football and try to hit you with play action passes. And so we're going to have to have a better defensive effort than we had last week. But, you know, it's same story, same story. We just got to, we got to play sound, sound fundamental football and, and just execute. If we'll be sound and execute the game plan, you know, we'll have a chance every week. Team like yours, Coach, with as many freshmen and, and sophomore guys that maybe necessarily didn't play a lot last year, uh, first overnight trip of the year, uh, if you could talk about the challenges that presents to your guys, and this isn't a short trip. I mean, you got to go all the way up to the end of 81. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a long trip, but we're looking forward to it. I really like road games. I love being able to chance to, to get on buses and get away with my team, and I think it's a, I think it's a great uh, bonding experience for the young men. And this is the road trips are the ones they're going to remember. Now they're a whole lot more fun when you're able to go up there and get a win. But, you know, we're going to pull out off early in the morning and go up there, and once we get to our hotel, we won't leave the hotel. We'll stay. We'll eat, our, we'll eat our dinner in the hotel, we'll eat our pregame meal in the hotel, we'll have meetings in the hotel, we'll make it much like a home game as we can. But it, there's no question, but you've got them all in one place and, and, and we know where they are. Fans, if you're not making a trip to Shepherdstown, you can check us out on WDIC. We're on AM this week, 1430 AM, or listen online at WDICradio.com. If you're going to Shepherdstown, there is an alumni tailgate. You can check more information out about that on uvawisecavs.com. Good luck, Coach. Thank you, Aaron.